Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go back out and continue working on some quests so we can continue getting research data so we can continue upgrading uh, our benches. Uh, so we're working on getting everything upgraded to Tier 2. We still have, I think, two benches left. We have the ballistics table left, and um, we just, you know, uh, this is not a big deal. It's just getting all of this stuff going. In fact, I think I have some... Um, more stuff that I've smelted up in here, maybe. Uh, well, actually, maybe I, maybe not. Um, but we do have more iron ingots to make more iron plating. I have to go do some more mining too. And so, yeah, we got to get the ballistics table upgraded to tier two. We ha and there was one other table I thought, or did we, did we do that in yesterday's episode? I can't remember. Let's go back up here. It looks like everything downstairs is now tier two. So, yeah, it looks like it's just the ballistics table because the chem bench doesn't have an upgrade option. And this is already tier three. So, yeah, that's where we're at with that. Okay, so last night, uh, overnight, I just did some inventory management, uh, fought some zombies off in our little spot down there and got that uh, repaired back up. And that's pretty much all that happened. Uh, I've got a ton of stuff that I need to sell, but as I've mentioned to you guys before, I don't have um, the resources to repair a lot of this stuff. So what I think I'm going to need to do is just have a massive uh, off-camera mining session. Maybe I'll even do some live streaming now that we're caught up, too. That's something to think about. But anyway... Um, just do a big, huge mining session and get a ton of resources, you know, iron, steel, that sort of thing, so we can repair the stuff and go sell it. Because there is a lot of money sitting in this stuff. I mean, I've got so much stuff in here. We could make a crap ton of money uh, by selling that stuff, you know. So that's on the to-do list. But I think right now our higher priority is getting, um, getting the rest of our workstations upgraded. Okay, so let's go back up here, make sure we have sustenance before we take off. I did, I locked some more slots uh, in my inventory here, as you can see. The, this is typically the stuff that I'm just always carrying with me. Uh, arguably, we don't really need to carry the nerdy glasses, uh, because that's really something I only use on Horde Night. But you know what I probably should at least do with those is keep them in the motorcycle. So I have them with me, otherwise I'm going to inevitably forget them, right? Uh, but anyway, yeah, I locked some more slots here, and I put some pipe bombs in those slots, so we finally have those with us now, because I keep leaving them at home. As far as food goes, we don't really have a lot of options at the moment. Uh, I'm hanging on to these dishes here because I still need... Wait, didn't we learn sham chowder? Here, we let's take a look in here. Sham... We know meat stew... No, we haven't. Um, so I'm hanging on to those dishes so that we can learn the recipes for them, the chili dog and all of that. But that takes research data too, and, and that's not a high priority. So that's why I'm not eating that stuff in case you were wondering. Um, so really about our only option right now, uh, we want to hang on to lamb cuts and chicken ration. We need some corn, actually. If I had some corn, I could – yeah, I'm not going to make these because we only have two mushrooms on us. We're going to have to go find some of those too. But if I had some corn, I could make meat stew. I could, uh, we need beef cuts for gumbo, so we should hit some vending machines today. Uh, and I can make shepherd's pie. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Right, okay. Oh, actually, hold on a sec. One of you guys said something in the comments about pumpkin cheesecake. Yeah, so the, it's the pumpkin cheesecake that gives you a 5% discount when bartering, because I was kind of hemming and hawing about whether or not I should take that, and now I'm glad that I did. Um, and we could actually make this, too. I, sh I have green alcohol. We just have to go get eggs, but, you know, that's easy. So that's something to think about, especially, you know, it, when we go to sell or if we're going to buy something really expensive. I'll try and remember that. Lord only knows if I actually will remember it, but we'll try. Anyway, back to the food I thing. Um, I've been just throwing back vitamins and chowing down on, you know, um, these old shams. The The downside to doing that is that we do lose a little bit of health, <clears throat> excuse me, whenever we do that. But, I mean, it's not that big a deal. We could recover that pretty easily with the first aid bandage. So 
Let's just take four of those with us. I'm not going to eat them right at the moment because we're in fairly good shape right at the moment as far as food goes. And uh, I don't think... I don't think I have anything in here canned food-wise. Oh, yeah, we definitely don't want to eat that stuff because that's for gumbo. Uh, these... Oh, actually, yeah, these don't have a recipe. So let's let's nosh on just one of those just to get our food all the way topped off. And uh, we'll put the cans down here. And then for drink, we'll take a mineral water. And I have some red teas in my inventory as well, so we're good to go there. Okay, let's set on out and uh, do this next quest. It's a retrieve quest. And keep going after that research data and more books. That is what we're doing. Um, oh, I was going to look and see what it would take to make a drawbridge. Uh, let's look at that really quick. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Don't fall off the ladder. Uh, that's probably something we have to make in here. And, um... 500 wooden planks. My goodness, that's expensive. Okay, we're gonna have to do some logging too. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> and 100 iron plating is kind of expensive too, but this is... Okay, well, we have a chainsaw now. So, um, we have some lumberjacking in our near future too, but that's not something we're gonna get to today, of course. I would eventually like to repair all of this building and, and fix this building up and make it look nice too. Um, that is... That's in my tentative plans to do, we'll say. Um, let's grab some of those. In fact, I'm going to just grab all of those. We'll make our bridge. I'm surprised there's no Zeeks around there. Usually all over the... Oh, you know why? Because I killed them all before... Uh, or early in the... Or, yeah, late in the morning. Early in the morning. In in the early morning. Uh, there's a crawler over there. Uh, I upgraded that section of my ramp to steel because they that's the one they hit on the most. So, yeah, that's what's going on with that. Okay, let's head on over to our questing site. And uh, I, don't rem I don't remember what that place is, actually. Oh, you know what? I never got back to the hardware store to salvage all that stuff. So, again, lots of off-camera things to do. I just didn't get around to it last night because by the time I got done with all my inventory management... Um, hello? Are we drunk today? Oh, I know what the problem is. I'm, I've been playing... I told you guys this. I've been playing a lot of Gold Rush and... Everything steered with the keyboard in that game. And uh, so I, I was thinking I was steering with the keyboard while I was moving the mouse, and that's why all that crap was going on. Oh, that's right. We're going to do the oil company today. Excellent. All right. I've already raided this place for gas a while back, so there's not there shouldn't really be anything to pre-loot here. Okay. Oh, boy. We got lag. Retrieve the supplies. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to actually get the gasoline in here or not. We don't, we just really don't need to anymore, you know. Let's see if we can get some sniping going. There we go. There's a sniper opportunity if I've ever seen one. Crap. Alright, how many, how many dudes are we talking here? Oh shit! I was, <laughs> I was trying to get, I was trying to go back inside and switch places with him. Oh, that's not a good idea. That is not a good idea. Okay. Oh, we can't run around there anymore like we used to be able to. <laughs> All right, you guys are pissing me off now. I'm not messing around anymore. Oh shit. That was fun. Not. Actually, it was fun. You guys thoroughly enjoyed that, I'm sure. All right, we got banged up a little bit. So we have fatigue. We use vitamins for that. We are infected. We use honey for that. And we have an abrasion. We use first aid bandages for that. There we go. Okay, we're all fixed up. And, um, yeah, that was it. <laughs> 
That was kind of intense, wasn't it? Okay, let's get on in here. There is a lot of um, a lot of gas cans in here. So let's check the passing gas. It's always a good chance that you get something really good out of these in Undead Legacy. A vehicle off-road lights. Um, uh, that's a pretty rare item, I think. So let's just go ahead and learn it. And yeah, I, I think I'm going to pass up these gas barrels. We just don't need them anymore. That way we can get things moving here. Now you do want to check the boxes because, you know, as usual, there's useful stuff in most of these. Okay, and let's check these boxes too. Okay, nothing to write home to mother about, but like I said, useful stuff. Did we check this little thing down here? Yeah, we did. All right, this is a, oh, it's a usable vending machine. Nice. All right, let's buy that. We'll buy that. This is the stuff, uh, we need this for fish tacos. Sure, we'll buy the sugar butts. I don't really use covert cats that much. Buy that. This we can eat straight up, and we'll buy the rock busters. We don't really need any of the rest of that. Very nice. Okay, cool. Um, we don't need to take that health bar right now. We're good. We are in good shape for that. All right. It wants us to go this direction. I think there's something in here, right? Yeah. Little backpack action. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's a pipe machine gun. It's a very high quality pipe machine gun, though. For a second there, I thought that was an assault rifle. Um, okay, so... <coughs> Excuse me. It's, um, it's a pretty nice pipe rifle. I mean, second to the highest quality, but still not as good as what we're currently sporting here. Okay, I think that's all the further we can go this way. Um, I'm going to actually mark this location as a vending machine spot and uh, what am I using I think I'm using food the food thingy for that so we'll say vending <laughs> sorry guys I'm a little sniffly this morning the runny nose action we never actually looked in here but There's not really anything up here, is there? There's a catwalk up that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how we get to it. And then we jump down here to grab this. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's a sea level tactical assault rifle. Wow. That's a nice find. How do these two compare? Um, this has 64.8 base. This has 64. This is actually a, a little bit more damage. This has 29 in the mag. That has 30 in the mag. Does this oh, does this use 7.6? Oh, it does. See, that makes this rifle more useful for this one. Uh, for, by the fact that, you know, 7.62 ammo is way more plentiful than 5.56 is. Wow. What a nice find. All right. Well, at the very least, this is going to replace this crappy AK. And what we'll do is we'll get this modded up when we get back to the base. Because um, I, I believe I have some extra mods that we could put on it. Nice find, man. Really nice find. Okay. And and these two, you know, if you compare the two, they're pretty comparable. In fact, the assault rifles actually are just a little bit better anyways than the AUC is. Now, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we don't even need to use this anymore. Uh, and that would free up a slot, you know, for something else. 
I'll have to, uh, you know, the one thing that's nice about this one, though, is it's got the built-in scope. But, I mean, that's not a huge deal, because this is our long-range rifle anyway. Yeah, you know what I think I'm going to do is let's take all of this stuff off of here. And let's put it on here. Now, I want the rad remover, and I want that... It'd be nice to have the reflex sight, but again, this is kind of a close to mid-range weapon. And I think I'd rather have the stock on it. You know, for better performance, uh, shoot from the hip performance. Okay, cool. That was, uh, that was great, man. That was really good. Okay. Now, was there something... Up there. Yeah, how do I... Oh, right this way. Duh. <laughs> that, uh... Just climb up the ladder, OG. All right, cool. I am very happy with this find. Very happy with this find. All right, let's keep on moving here. Um, that's not good. Hopefully that bear's not aggroing on us. Okay, so we're supposed to go up this way. And it looks like our satchel is on this level. That means it's probably in there somewhere. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, let's go. Oh, man, I don't... That's... If there's one thing in the wasteland that scares me more than anything else, it's a zombie bear. Hmm. Okay. This lag is terrible. Oh, shite. That's not precisely what I meant to do. See, the nice thing about assault rifles, too, is we have skills in assault rifles. We have level four. And this makes a really good close and mid-range weapon, so I am super thrilled that we found this thing. Nice. All right, we got a, another Zeke running around somewhere. You're just an outside Zeke. Have some 762, Marlene. All right, let's go up this way. I think this is the way we were supposed to come down. Are you dead? <laughs> he just answered that question for us. Or should I say our assault rifle answered that question for us? <coughs> oh, man. <clears throat> okay. What's that business about? I'm trying to get back up to where we fell so we can stay on the path. Okay, so this is where we went, and then what is this? Is this a ladder? Yeah, that's a ladder. Okay, anything down here? No, not really. Except for lag. Are we supposed to go all the way up there? That just goes down to the bottom. Okay, let's jump over here. There's some oil shale. Yeah, we might as well grab this. No reason not to, eh? Okay. I don't see anything else significant in here, though. All right, so I guess I've kind of lost the pathway. We can't... It wanted us to come out there. And then this just goes down to the ground. 
can we get up here? Yeah, let's just go up here. Here, let's get our shotgun ready. See, I, I came through here looking for gas, but I... I didn't, like, go through the whole place, so... This is all new. Okay, there's looks like there's an ammo pile over here. Nice. Bow parts, that's always good. Did we get him? Yeah, we did. Okay. This is cool, man. Really high up. I wonder if there's any... Yeah, yeah, there is a secret in that thingy. I was one supposed to get over there, though. Probably go out the window from down below where we were. Okay, is there a ladder back off of here? Looks like we have to go back over this way. Okay. Come on, line up. All right, let's get to the business of getting our satchel, but there's also a thingy there, too. Well, we know this where the satchel is. It's in the end loot room, so let's just kind of keep following all this stuff for now. Okay, so that would have just led us up here. We've already done everything up there. As far as I can tell, we've been down through here already. Yeah. So now the question is, how do we get to that room? How are we supposed to get to that room without breaking into it? Because normally, oh, do we have a running horde going through? Normally, you don't have to break into those places. You find a way in, you know. But this is, uh, I, I'm a little confused about what the pathway is supposed to be here. Oh, okay. I bet you we go in down there. Okay. Let's jump down onto this. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, we, okay. We're going through here. Gotcha. Oh. Feral janitor zombie. Oh, wrong gun. Okay. We need to get... Uh, I'm used to number four being my assault rifle. We need to get that off of there because it messed me up. Um, let's, let's just slide all of this stuff over and that gives us an extra spot to put like the ratchet down here and maybe the shovel. Cause we don't use the nail gun as frequently. <clears throat> all right. We good. Let's get, make sure everybody's loaded here and we need to take care of ourselves too. So let's grab a, one of these. Okay. Yeah, there was a bunch of boys in here. Some cowboy boots with some blue dye. This is the main room. Okay, nice. Let's grab our satchel first. Very good. Uh, I never grabbed, got any eye candy out of that machine, did I? Okay. Well, let's just loot then. Shotgun. T Ooh, nice. Um, I don't think we can't put that on here though. That's for the like the other kind of shotgun, but we'll keep it. Okay. Check all these. Let's unlock the fat loots. Nice lever action rifle, a level. Okay, very cool. 
And uh, now let's check all of these passing gas crates. We have the potential to get some nice schematic stuff out of here. Scrap sledge. Okay. There we go. And that's going to make us heavier than all get out. Not heavier than all get out, just heavy. <clears throat> A tailor's station schematic. Nice. That's right. We don't even have one of these. Completely forgot about that. Okay. There you go. This has been a good run, you guys. This has been a really good run. Uh, okay, so, yeah. I think I'm just going to break out from here. And uh, just trying to see where the easiest place to do that is going to be. Probably just right over here. So, yeah, I'm going to cut my way out of here. And then we will... Meet you guys back at the trader. <laughs> I love sniping in this game. Um, <clears throat> that didn't kill you? I guess not. I thought I saw... I, I thought he, it, it, it didn't kill him. That killed him. Guess we might as well wait. Until everybody comes over here before we punch a hole in here and then we can, we can take care of them. Come on, yo! All right, let's take a look at the vending machine. Uh, I want the hackers. We'll get some more sugar butts, I guess, some rock busters. We want, yeah, we'll take the chicken and the ravioli. Adam junkies for sure. Cat food. We have 19 jailbreakers. Uh, I think I'm going to hold off on those. Welcome. Welcome. Many thanks. You Carpenter's axe. For 106 or three pain pills, we'll take the carpenter's axe. All right, next job, fetch a Tudor house. That's to the east. Well, you know, we could go to the east. It's not that big a deal. It's just that little town over the way. In fact, we could, we should be going over there and working uh, the quest from the other trader over there, too. Uh, fetch and clear at rural church. Buried supplies. No, we're not doing buried supplies. Uh, let's do, yeah, let's do this one. Brilliant. I guess this kind of. Makes us friends now. When you guys reset. Oh, you I think he has reset. Oh, look at that. We're buying yeah, we're buying this. Spaghetti recipe, guys. Awesome sauce recipe. Should we buy this? I think we should. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so what else does he have that we might be interested in? We already have an extra crucible, so we're good to go there. Alright, let's look at his secret. Lucky looter, uh, find more food and loot. Um, yeah, why not? We've got we've got plenty of money, so I'm not too worried about that. Hey, let's buy a DH800. It's only five hundred and ten thousand gold. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Not right now, anyway. Maybe sometime way down the road from now, but not right now. Okay, let's sell all of this cash to him. Is there anything else I just I can sell to him outright? Um. Yeah, let's just sell them those. I know it had dye on it, but I've, I've got over a full crate of dye, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, we 
Yeah, I don't have enough gun mods to put mods on and sell. Besides, it's not worth it for these cheap ones anyway. So let's just sell that as is. This we should fix up before we sell it, even though it is only a pipe rifle. We don't need this. I've got extras of those. And I think that's probably all we're going to sell them right now. Gun, sir. All right, let's take a look at your inventory. What you got, Mang? Mm, ooh, how much are those? Holy crap, Ola. Don't we know how to make one of these, though? I think we found the, the schematic for that a couple episodes ago, if I recall correctly. Um, What's that? Oh, a steel katana. That's cool. Water stand. Here's the hobo stew recipe. Let's buy it. Let's just get her done. Uh, Pistol peat. Got 9mm guns deal 10% more damage. We're buying that. Oh, double pocket mods. Yep, we're definitely buying that too. Okay. I think that's Perfect. it. Perfect. All right, we got some good stuff. We can now make spaghetti. We can now make awesome sauce. We can now find more food and loot. And we can make double pocket mods, which is going to increase our weight carrying capacity. That's a beautiful thing. Absolute beautiful thing. All right, you guys. Oh, and Pistol Pete. Yeah, sure. We'll do 10% more damage and Hobo Stew. Yeah, we, we know how to make most of the high-end food recipes now. That's just a beautiful thing. Okay, cool. Well, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And let's see, what is it? It's, it's noon. I might take the rest of today, the in-game day, uh, go salvage that uh, tool store from the last episode uh, since I got a, um, a hacker's candy. And then I'm probably going to go do a whole crap ton of mining so I can get resources so we can repair all of this crap that we have. And, you know, for the first part of the next episode, the plan will be that we will go uh, sell and make a boatload of money. And then go from there. Okay, and and I'll you know I'll make a grandpa's awesome sauce. We will make a pumpkin cheesecake thingamadoodle. We already have our cigar. We'll eat a sugar a sugar butts, and then you know with all those buffs going on, we should make ourselves a big pile of cash. Plus, it'll clean out some of my crates because I just have too much stuff. So that is the plan for the next episode. Now, Horde Night is coming up tomorrow as well, but my plan for Horde Night is basically going to be a repeat of the previous horde night we're going to just be in the parking garage we're going to use a lot of explosives and um you know just see how well we do with that i've already got the parking garage all repaired and ready to go and uh, yeah so that is the plan guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye